So MILT 3, 4 and 5 are a little bit academic for us and we don't think we can answer them on our own. We need some help. So we have come to a Haval dealership to chat to a professional to find out if your myths are true or busted. So we're here at a Haval workshop and I've got Yusuf, who's the head of after sales here at Haval. So how have you been able to adapt your workshop to accommodate your hybrid vehicles? Thank you very much. The main change we had to make is around the safety when working on a, on a hybrid vehicle mm. because the lithium ion battery on our hybrid vehicles is 350 to 400 volts. You know, that's quite a step up from your normal 12 yeah. volt and there's a very high risk of getting shocked. Mm. You know, so a lot of the bay changes and the special tools are around safety, mm. you know, where the tools are insulated specially and you've got to cordon off the bay when you work on the vehicle so no one actually, you know, has a chance of interfering with the high voltage system. Yeah. And, and that has allowed us, you know, to keep the technicians safe and make the change. Yeah. Speaking of special tools, there's a tool in the back there which I'm not very familiar <laughs> with. Would you mind telling me what that hook is? Yeah, it's actually, you know, in case of an unfortunate incident when someone does get shocked when working on the vehicle, you know, mm. they got to be rescued with that tool. You cannot touch the person as yeah. you can get risk of getting shocked as well. Yeah. Sure. Okay, awesome. So, we're here in the workshop to figure out and bust our myth, which is hybrid vehicles require more maintenance than your traditional petrol engines. So, is there anything special which these cars need to have done to them when they come in for a service? Yeah, on, on our 86 hybrid vehicle, this one that's here, you know, compared to the normal 86, the only difference is, you know, it does have a dedicated hybrid transmission, which is very different, you know, and it's actually a world first. So it's got some special oil, but in cents per kilometer, there's not quite a big difference. And obviously it's got a 1.5 turbo versus a two liter engine, but okay. it's like your normal petrol engine. Sure. You've got your filters, you've got your spark plugs and your oil once a year. So well, thank you for helping us bust this myth. And there you have it. You don't need anything special when servicing your hybrid.